Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're navigating the unexpected detours on the road to electrification. The government's initial plan for a swift transition to electric vehicles has hit a speed bump. Now, they're shifting gears towards a more diverse approach, focusing not just on EVs, but also on hybrids and other green technologies. As we journey through this changing landscape, we're encountering some unusual trends in the EV market. Let's delve into eight unprecedented phenomena in the EV world. <laughs> Event number eight, the EV acceleration hits the brakes. For years, the EV market was a high-speed race, with year-over-year -year growth consistently hitting at least 90%. This rapid expansion led many, including the Biden administration, to envision a future dominated by electric vehicles. However, the second half of 2023 marked a significant shift in gear. The year concluded with a 50% market increase, a stark contrast to previous years. As we rolled into January, the year-over-year -year growth dwindled to a mere 15%, signaling a significant slowdown in the EV market. The once optimistic forecasts now suggest a modest growth of around 30% at best for this year. It appears that once the early adopters have had their fill, the offerings for the average consumer are falling short. Event number seven, an overflowing EV market. The automotive industry has been grappling with supply chain disruptions for years, particularly since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. The demand for EVs outpaced the supply, creating a seller's market. However, the tables have turned. With the market stabilizing and production ramping up, the demand has taken a back seat. Current reports indicate a staggering 500% increase in supply compared to a year ago. This imbalance has led to an oversupply, with EVs gathering dust at dealerships while manufacturers scale back production. To clear the backlog, most EV manufacturers are offering substantial discounts. Tesla led the charge, with Ford following suit by offering a whopping discount of up to $14,000. Event number six, the collapse of Biden's electrification plan. In an unprecedented turn of events, optimism towards electrification, once shared by many including the government, is dwindling. Biden's administration initially envisioned a rapid transition to EVs, with the EPA proposing stringent emission rules to make two-thirds of new cars all-electric by 2032. However, the slowing growth necessitated a change in strategy. The EPA's revised proposal is more lenient, aiming for just one-third of new cars to be electrified, likely including hybrids, by 2032. Notably, the new proposal allows gas and diesel-powered pickup trucks to remain on the roads for the foreseeable future, acknowledging that electric pickups are yet to match up to their internal combustion counterparts. This shift in policy underscores the challenges faced in the EV market, a topic we'll delve into shortly. Event number five, dealerships steer clear of EVs. Dealerships once reveled in the high demand and disrupted supply chain, enjoying record profits. However, with the current oversupply, EVs are proving harder to sell and the days of markups are long gone. Take the Nebraska-based Baxter Auto Group, for instance. Despite having over 200 refundable orders at launch, they managed to sell just 25 all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning models in 2023. Currently, they have 12 electric pickups in stock, which, given the current dynamics, will take at least six months to sell. Meanwhile, companies like Ford and GM are pressuring dealers to invest heavily in EV infrastructure and staff training. Understandably, many dealers are reluctant to participate in this EV eligibility program and prefer to stick with internal combustion cars. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point, event number four, Ford and GM on shaky ground. Ford and GM, once confident contenders against Tesla, have hit a roadblock. Despite pouring billions into EV development, they've yet to crack the code on profitability in the EV market, a feat only Tesla has achieved so far. It's no surprise then that both companies are hemorrhaging money on every EV sold. Ford, for instance, reported a loss of over $36,000 on each F-150 Lightning sold last year, 
totaling a staggering $5 billion loss. GM, on the other hand, resorted to buying back shares to placate investors. With the market slowdown, both companies have had to hit the brakes on planned EV investments. Ford has delayed $12 billion in investments and halved the production of the F-150 Lightning. GM has pushed the production of the all-electric Silverado to late 2025 and delayed the production of new drive units until year-end. Event number three, turbulence in EV paradise. Tesla, the sole profit-making EV manufacturer and the leading EV seller globally, has hit a rough patch. Despite its status as the world's most valuable automotive company, recent months have seen a downturn. This stumble from such a titan indicates a larger issue plaguing the entire EV industry. Amidst a market slowdown, hefty discounts, and technological hiccups, Tesla's shares have been on a downward trajectory. In the first week of March alone, the shares fell by 7.2%, culminating in a significant 24% slump in the first quarter of 2024. While not critical, this trend underscores the challenges faced in the EV market, proving that even Tesla isn't immune. Event number two, electric pickups, a distant dream. Current market trends suggest that electric pickups will take decades to replace their gas and diesel counterparts. Almost every electric pickup manufacturer is witnessing a decline in sales. Rivian's R1T sales dropped by 14% last year and a further 43% in January. Ford has halved the production of the F-150 Lightning and GM has postponed mass production of the Silverado and Sierra electric pickups to late 2025. Electric pickups still fall short of traditional ICE vehicles in terms of range, towing capacity, and price. Recent research shows that these battery electric trucks significantly underperform in heavy-duty tasks. Tests on the F-150 Lightning revealed that the max range can drop by a third with a decent payload. Motor Trend found that with a 7,000-pound trailer, this pickup could barely cover 90 miles on a full charge. Event number one, EV technology, a work in progress. Despite the hype around EVs and their impressive acceleration and high-tech features, the reality paints a different picture. EVs still lag behind gas-powered cars in many aspects, including autonomy, convenience, cost, and reliability. A recent survey from Boston Consulting Group revealed that only 40% of consumers would consider buying an EV. Even this group has high expectations that most manufacturers can't meet currently. They want a $50,000 EV that can cover at least 300 miles and recharge in 20 minutes. In the current market, only one EV meets all these criteria, indicating that EV technology still has a long way to go before it becomes a viable option for the average consumer. That's all for today's episode of Piston Pundit. If you found this video insightful and want to stay updated on the latest vehicle trends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next episode.